All right, all right, LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison, and you're live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, I got a subscriber request, okay? Uh, you know, young man, 28 years old, he asked me to keep him anonymous, and I will respect your wishes. And he said, you know, my girlfriend, after two years, she came home, and she told me that she, she no longer loves me. She left, and she got her own apartment. And, you know, this was a girl I was going to marry, and, you know, the whole nine yards. And you want to know you want answers and she's not really giving you any answers. You don't know. Can you fill in some blanks for me? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm saying is not the gospel. Okay. What I'm telling you isn't the gospel. Okay. It may, it may, what works for me don't, may not work for you. And I'm telling you that. And videos like this, guys, from here on out, I'm going to start putting these videos on Patreon because people are just too sensitive. I don't think this is a sensitive topic. I think this is pretty much an even kill topic that we can talk about. And I think we'll be okay. Um, this woman, you said she came home, you know, just one day and said she don't know, she don't love you anymore. Okay, now, this woman just didn't wake up that day. Y'all do the horizontal poker. Y'all, you know, get down and dirty. And then all of a sudden she get home and all of a sudden she don't love you. Like, you know, it don't make sense. See, you missed the telltale signs in between. She was already telling you that she no longer loved you. You just couldn't pick up on the signs. And I'm going to tell you, man. You know, a part of you would have to know this, okay? A part of you would have to know this. A part of you, in your mind and in your body, you know that this woman gave you telltale signs. She gave you all of them. But the thing of it is, you just didn't notice the telltale signs. Okay, you didn't notice them. And whatever your reasons are for not noticing the signs, I don't know why you didn't notice the signs, but you didn't, okay? And women give off these signs. They give off signs that they like you. They give off signs that they don't like you. They give off signs that they're about to leave you. You need to change your behavior, okay, because they're going to leave you soon. They give those signs off. But you have to be clever enough to pick up on them and read into them. See, women, sometimes they expect you to know. Now, how many of y'all, you ever, you know, date somebody and then you forget something or you don't know something and then they upset with you because either you didn't know. Okay, they expect you to ask the right questions. They expect you to do the right thing. See, that's what women expect, okay? <laughs> And I laugh sometimes because it really is true. Women, they're very complex people. They're extremely complex. And they, they operate different, differently than we do. We men, most men, I said most, most men are, they're very, we're going to go straight to the point. Okay, we don't want to go around. We don't want to do any kind of, you know, fluff and all this. Other. We want to go right to the point. You know, it's where, you know, even, you know, like when, when two people are trying to get together. You know, women, they want to, you know, they really want the atmosphere to be perfect. You know, they, they want to, you know, look nice. They want to go smell nice for you. Men, men just want to get right to it. Okay. Women, they're much more detail oriented than men. Okay. Their brains think on a whole nother level. Okay. You have to understand that. But she just didn't come home one day and say, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to dump you. Nah. Okay. Now, you told me, too, that, you know, when she left, okay, you... You, you pretty much, you, you went back over to her place. You tried to plead to get her back. No, well, well, one day you said she called to check on you to see how you were doing, okay? That's before you went over to her apartment. Hey, what's up, OG? Hold on one time. She said, uh, you know, you said that, you know, she called to check on you. Now, that was your golden opportunity. But see, I detect that you didn't ask the right questions. See, when you, when a woman called you and, and she dumped you and she checking on you, she really, she really, want to see if you really have changed okay if if you really appreciate who she is like she she really want that's why she's calling she's not calling to check on you because if a woman don't really want to deal with you they're not calling to check on you okay they don't want to check on you because they want you out of their life but if she's calling to check on you that's a open doorway to ask her what did i do see not why are we not together anymore that's the wrong question. See, it's the same question, but I worded it differently. You have to understand the female makeup, okay? You have to understand the, physiolog the, phys the physiological makeup of a female because they don't ever think they do anything wrong. Even if you feel like you didn't do anything wrong, you were supposed to ask her, what did I do? And she'd have told you. Oh, she would have told you, but see, if you whining and sniveling and, oh, baby, I miss you, I miss let me tell you something, okay? When you went to her place and you start whining and sniveling and all this stuff, let me just tell you. Let me really, really tell you, okay? Uh, that irritated her even more. 
Okay, it irritated her even more. It irritated her to the point to where, you know, she wanted you to get out to get out of her face even more. Women don't like men who snivel and whine. They don't like that. They hate every second of that. And I'm going to tell you something, okay? No woman wants to be around a dude that's more feminine than she is. Don't no woman want to be around no dude like that. Like, she, she, women hate that. And you ask any woman out there, if you dump a guy and if he come back to you crying and on his knees with flowers, that, 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 they almost want to throw up when they see that. They, they almost want to, they, they detest that. They want you out of their face. I'm telling you, it don't work, y'all. You go there and you can profess your love to her on your knees and crying. And, you know, she's looking at you like you're crazy. She's looking at you like you're crazy. She's looking at you like something is wrong with you. And why can't you get the hint that I don't like you? I'm telling you, you when you went over there and you started crying, dude, you, you turned off even worse. Okay? And I'm telling you. I'm telling you, she don't want to do with you. I don't care how much game you got. I don't care. Like, I had somebody break over me before. And I'm going to tell you something, man. Okay? You have to understand, and this is what I understood, okay? I understand that we got a population of women out there. We got a lot of them. Look, now in this in 2020, you can pretty much damn near go online and make your own woman, okay? If you one of these people, you antisocial, if you antisocial and you don't know how to how to deal with women on that level, guess what? You can go online, you can you can break the ice online, you can go click on the buttons, you can click a button and create your own female, and then they'll find a female with the attributes you listed, and, and then they'll hook y'all, they'll hook you up with them. I mean, it's 2020. You, you, you're too old to be sitting here crying over one woman that don't even love you. I mean, I, I don't understand it. I, but I had a woman, she broke up with me. And I'm going to tell you, man, you know, for all the two minutes, I was like, dang. But then when I remember, God, it's, a million, it's millions of women out here, and I can get one better than the one I just had. I said, man, this life is great. You know, that, that was my attitude. Like, and, of course, I found somebody who was even better. <laughs> And let me tell you something, too. Let me let you in on a little secret. The woman that break up with you, see, women, they think that they're more important than they really are. And I'm just telling you the truth as a man. A lot of women think that they're more important than they really are. So when they break up with you, they think that you're supposed to be sitting at home soaking and moking all over them. And, you know, man, look, I seen, I seen her one day when she broke up with me. I seen her. And, you know, I'm happy as hell. You know, I, and she said, oh, how you doing? And, you know, broke, you know, talked about little small stuff. And then she said, you know, why are you so happy? And I said, well, first of all, you know, I done, I done made me some more money. You know, and I did at the time, you know, she saw me at the mall. I had like a pocket full of money. And, you know, I was going in stores. And I, I mean, I really was happy. And I said, yeah, I had a pocket full of money and I made me some extra money. And, you know, <coughs> I met somebody. You know, I met somebody. This, this is about a year after she broke up with me. Yeah, I met somebody. And, uh, you know, we, we we definitely been, you know, hanging out and been kicking it, you know, and I'm happy. And she said, oh, well, I'm, I'm definitely happy for you. And a month later, I get a phone call from her. How you doing? Are, are you still with old girl? Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen to you in this situation. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that women that break up with you, they don't want to know that you're happy. They don't care. See, they don't think you you capable of being happy without them. I'm just going to tell you straight up. See, you got to understand who you are as a man. You got to understand your value as a man. You must understand who you really are. And you got to go out and be who you are. Dude, all these damn women running around here and you crying over one? I can't do it. That's a waste of time. You kill your creativity. Hell, you ain't doing nothing productive but sitting there whining and moking over somebody who don't give a damn about you in the first place. She don't love you. She said she don't love you. Ain't no sense because if you keep showing up at her house crying and whining and sniveling with flowers, guess what she going to do? She going she, she gonna to accuse you of being a stalker. She going to call the cops and it's going to be lights out for you. And now what you really, really trying to do is going to be stunted because your ass might be in jail. Listen, man, listen, don't beg no woman, OK? Don't beg no woman. And then I got to ask you, too, because from from the email, you know, you said you did really whatever she she needed you to do. OK, women honestly don't like men that do whatever they tell them to do. W women don't like that. They really don't. They may tell you, oh, you so sweet. They don't like that. OK, they want somebody for once, you know, who's going to have a backbone and actually tell them no every now. And they want somebody like that. They don't want nobody who's going to say yes to every damn thing. That, that That's not what she want. OK, she don't want that. Because when, when it comes down to it, women, their inclination is to submit to men. Now, I don't care how many women tell you, I ain't submitting to no man. Ain't no man going to tell me. Women naturally do want to submit to men. They, it's, 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 it, it, it's nature. That's, it's not my law. It's nature's law. 
Women want to, and you should want to deal with a submissive woman. I didn't say a slave. I said a woman who understands that her role is a woman and she can't be a man. This is what I'm trying to explain to you, okay? Women don't like a pushover. They don't like a guy that they can just say, hey, go do this, and then he do it. Okay, they don't like a guy that they can just talk down to. Okay, they, they don't like that. And see, from the looks of it, she think that she got you in the palm of her hand and she can, you know, form you like silly putty. Evidently, though, you silly and you still putty in her hands. You got, you got, I know people tell you you got to move on, but you can't move on until you look in the mirror and recognize who the hell you are. Dude, you are a man. You're a grown man, okay? Yeah, I mean, you got dreams, you got goals, you got aspirations. Your dream and your goals for the future just didn't entail this woman. You got things you want to do. You got goals that you want to reach. Man, you got aspirations. You got all of this stuff inside of you, but that, 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 those aspirations and everything you got inside of you, that stuff is being suppressed because you got this woman on your mind that don't love you. You got to understand. You got to love yourself. And if you love yourself more than you love this woman, then guess what? You're going to pick yourself up. You're going to pick yourself up. Your creativity going to start to go. And I'm going to tell you something. When you change, people that, that knew you in the past, they're going to know you changed, and they're going to want to know what's up with you. And I'm just saying, she might even, might even see you and notice that there's a noticeable change in you. And guess what? Might be enough to win her back. But if she done moved her stuff out of your place, look, man, let, let me go on and break the news to you right now. Okay. Her and her girlfriends, they're having a good old time about you there, okay? She can go clubbing or partying, whatever she want to do, she doing that stuff. Because when, when y'all together, they probably couldn't do that because she felt herself being in this committed relationship with you. And, but I'm telling you now, oh, she out clubbing. She clubbing, having a good old time, having fun without you, okay? And that's fine. That's just life, man. Everybody is not going to work out, man. It ain't going to do it. But when are you going to accept the fact that you are bigger than your emotions. You're bigger than this relationship. No relationship is bigger than my future. No, 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 no. And some people might call it, Coach, you, ain't, you, you, you don't love. You know what? It's not about love. It's about re reality. Because when you marry a woman, it's a business. I don't care how you slice it and dice it. Yeah, you know, y'all have feelings for each other. But, dude, let's just be honest, okay? Did you really love her? Or were you looking at, you know, how big her lips were? Was you looking at how big her booty was? I mean, did you really love her or was it lust? Ask yourself that. Really ask yourself, did you love her? And if you know you didn't, then guess what? Now you're young enough, you're 28 years old, you've got enough time to meet the person that you can love.